We all know that cancer is one of the leading causes of death globally. Therefore, a lot of research is being done in trying to understand how the cancer forms and spreads within the body. So recently, people have found that cancer cells release some particles that are of cancerous nature, that means they are bad, and they assist in formation and spreading of cancer within the body. And because this understanding is relatively new, the current cancer therapies do not target these cancer vesicles. So this is an image of a cancer cell releasing these cancer particles. So now these particles have two main populations. One is small size cancer particles, and other is large size cancer particles. However, we do not currently understand the differences between the roles of small and large cancer particles in cancer. And it is important to understand these differences because then only we can develop new therapies and drugs that target the specific population and mitigate its negative effect. And the reason why the differences between small and large cancer particles are not well understood is because the techniques that currently exist to separate these particles are not very effective. So my project is about developing a system that can effectively separate small cancer particles from large cancer particles so that we can study these populations separately and inform new therapies and drugs. Now the way I separate small and large cancer particles is using sound waves. Now most of you have experience with sound speakers at your home and you can uh, <clears throat> and if you would have ever placed your hand close to a speaker and at very large volumes maybe at a loud party you can sense a force on your hand and this force is due to pressure fluctuations. Similarly, when these particles are in sound waves, they experience a force. And this force depends on the size of the particles. For example, larger particles experience more force and smaller particles experience less force. And it is this difference in force that I utilize to separate these particles. Now in my acoustic system, I have a sound wave generator as shown by these yellow lines that generate the sound waves and I have a mixture of small and large cancer particles flowing over the sound wave generator. Now because small and large cancer particles experience different forces, the large cancer particles move to a different location relative to small cancer particles. And this results in the separation of two populations. Now once I have these two populations separated, I would take each of these populations and study them separately and that can hopefully inform new therapies and drugs that target the specific population whether it's small cancer particles or large cancer particles. Thank you.